Wedding Crushers, what is going on? Where's the camera? Is it here? Is it here? Hans here. Um, today, as the title says, we're going to talk about stop doing this and start doing this because um, just like me, many of you are, you've got the entrepreneurial bug, meaning that you want to start something new every day of the week and um, it's hard to stay focused. I don't know if we've got ADD or just like it's a blessing where we can just, our mind can go in a thousand different directions. I don't know. For example, um, sometimes instead of doing what I need to be doing, I'll go to my favorite drug, Canva. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Canva? You can make like um, images, like graphic images or uh, logos or email headers. And I just get geeked out in there and just spend, I'll spend two hours making a, an email header or something stupid or a logo or an infographic. I'm like, yes, everybody's going to download this infographic. And it takes me like six hours to make. Maybe not six hours. <clears throat> or maybe this is you. Um, you're a photographer or you're a DJ or you love gear. Are you a gearhead? You watch so many videos on gear. You know, who's, who's that? Raise your hand out there. You know who you are. Gear guy, gear girl. And um, so I'm gonna, I've got a list right here written down that I want to talk to you about that what we need to stop doing to grow our business. Like if you watch as many videos on marketing as you did gear, your business would be blow, blowing, up, blowing up. So um, <clears throat> here's a few things just to think about that maybe you need to stop doing until you make $100,000, until you make your goal, whatever your goal is. Um, <clears throat> number one, gear. Just, just stop. You got enough gear. Go do it. Work on marketing. Number two, logo. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your logo. Don't even use a logo. If you, if, just go get the gigs. Stop, stop playing with the logo. Um, Number three, business cards. Nobody cares. Stop doing it. Business cards, right? Number four, business plan. Here's your business plan. Go get more gigs. <laughs> That's your business plan. I mean, literally, you need to make a little bit of one, but you can do it on a, on a freaking notebook, on a, on a square sticky note. Um, <clears throat> taxes. Like, some people get all weirded out about taxes, and taxes are very important. I got burned the first year, but you know what? I was like, I want to make some money <clears throat> and then I'll figure out how to do the taxes. So if it's holding you back from moving forward, just go, just go. We'll figure it out when we get there. When we get a hundred thousand, you know, you might get burned a little bit, but at least you, you got there. So I'm just saying, go, go, go. An LLC, you, you need to get an LLC or an S Corp or, you know, file all that stuff. But if that's holding you back from growing, um, my permit, I'm giving you permission. Stop. Don't even think about it. Work on marketing, work on sales, work on booking, and here's, here's what you can work on. So that's the stop, the gear, the logo, the business cards, the, the tax stuff, um, until you get there. Like, let's get there and then work on all that stuff because you don't have to have that in place. You're, it helps, but it's not going to, it's, it's not your, the thing that's holding you back. Um, the thing that's holding you back is not focusing on one thing. Um, Steve Jobs says, talking about focus, here's, here's a quote from Steve Jobs. People think focus means saying yes to the thing you've got to focus on. But that's not what it means at all. It means saying no to the hundred other good ideas that are there. So I talk to people every day and they're like, man, I've got this thing, it's going. Um, but, you know, what, what if I added this in? I've got, you know, that's, that's a whole nother market that I could make an extra, you know, $20,000 a year. And I'm like, yeah, but you're only making $20,000 with this thing. And it's got the potential to make $500,000. So let's just go focus, laser focus on this one thing. Um, so if you're, if you're in on the focus on and you're, and you're kind of drinking the, the wedding crusher Kool-Aid, if you're down with me, this is what I suggest that you stay focused on. All right. Website. You don't know what to focus on today. Focus on your website. Watch a video on how to build your website. Talk to me. Um, your funnel, your actual, once you land on the funnel, what's the process that the bride does or the groom does? What's the process that they go through before they talk to you? There should be a little bit of a funnel. Um, collecting and building trust markers. So uh, wedding crushers, we use this thing called trust stacking. Trust marker, trust marker, trust marker, trust marker, all these cool little trust markers. So the time that they talk to you on the phone, they trust and love you and they, they know who you are and they are ready to pull out that credit card and hand it to you. Um, if you don't 
have the trust markers, that's what you do today. You go get those trust markers. You go get the, the videos or the reviews or um, you, that's what you build. That's what you focus on, not your, not your business card. And then your ads, you need to get, if you, if you don't understand Google ads, your Facebook ads, the not, uh, wedding wire, that's what you need to do. You need to get your head around how that works. And at Wedding Crushers, we're here. You can go to weddingcrushers.biz um, slash win and set up a discovery call and let me help you win quickly. What else is there? Um, <clears throat> I wrote just planning all day isn't going to help. You can plan until the cows come home and that's not going to help. And Because a lot of you guys are, are planning on word of mouth marketing. And word of mouth is, is a terrible plan because you, you have no control whether it comes in or not. You can do a really, really good job at your event and that helps give word of mouth, that helps spread the word, but you, you're just sitting handcuffed. Like, man, I hope somebody calls today. And unless you have those ads going, unless you've got a killer website, unless you've got an awesome funnel, then word of mouth isn't gonna work. You're not gonna get to where you need to be. Um, so here's my offer, guys. Go to weddingcrushers.biz slash win and set up a discovery call, and, and let me show you our game plan. Let me show you our blueprint to get you focused on one task at a time every single day until you get where you wanna be. All right, guys? Until next time, keep crushing those weddings.